you are watching the Stripped Down 2022 Halloween special. Why is Halloween such a big deal to Stripped Down Live? Well, it started when the show started. See, this show began in February of 2008. Season one was only like a half season because we stopped in summer, but we came back for season two in October 2008 and our first Halloween special. We took the deep dark woods out into the deep dark woods. Yes, we did. Juno Award nominee, the deep dark woods. We took them into the deep dark woods. For season three, we had a costume party right here in the studio with Doll Talk and Ransom. And it was that night that we also discovered there is a Crystal Lake, Saskatchewan. So that was a drop everything moment. And next week, the very next week, we took the crew along with Old Joe and the Truth Hurts and played a show on the banks of Crystal Lake, Saskatchewan. From there, we went to the following season, which was Devil's Paradise back here in the studio with Zombie Go-Go Dancers. The following season, we went to a torture room with Sean Valoria. And then we went to the abandoned, uh, uh, <laughs> the abandoned exhibition with Brock Andrews and played that show in the middle of the night. And then the following season, it all came to a crashing halt. It was the last Halloween show of the original run of Strip Down where it got really weird with Dick McInnes. Then we went to the dark three years, coming back in 2018 where the crow met up with Batgirl, Lisa Moen in the parking lot and we came in and did an incredible 60 minutes back here in the studio. From there was Aurora Wolf and a Rocky Horror Picture Show theme. And then finally, in the middle of COVID, we went back outside, back to our roots, and we brought Aurora Bella in front of the campfire for another 60 minutes of Halloween magic. And I thought that's where Stripped Down Live was going to end. I thought that was going to be the last show we ever did. But guess what? We're back. We're writing another chapter for Stripped Down's Halloween episode. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Stripped Down Live, it's Martina Music. It's 
in their blood and it's under their skin. They play for their lives over every other thing. The connection's a feeling that's never replaced. Igniting a smile on every single face. They play a language that unites the crowd. They're the lightning. We made it. It's the stripped down Halloween 2022 special with Martina Music. Big round of applause to the crew. Pulling off that intro. Mr. Jeepers came to life after all these seasons. Martina, very ambitious tonight. She wants to do costume changes constantly. So she's gone. If we can get a shot, let's do it. Let's do it already. Let's throw it over to the wonderful Bryn Christ if we can get some light on her. This is happening in real time. We are live, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, Bryn Kreisa, tell us about your costume, Bryn. Do I need to? You do. You do. <laughs> My alien knowledge isn't what it should be, but I knew exactly who you were. Well, that's good. Kind of. <laughs> At least you know who I am. I mean, I can't really say Rip Ellen Ripley's best catchphrase. Maybe we'll say it as we go off the air. Yeah. It'll I'll be like, three, two. Get away from her, you. And we'll cut. And community TV will burn to the ground if we hear that <laughs> word. What's going on, Bryn? What, when you were watching those still pictures, that was a pretty ambitious intro. We looked back. We looked back at every single Halloween episode we did. What was your favorite Halloween thing we've ever done? Uh, first one that comes to mind is definitely Deep Dark Woods. In that was the, the very, woods. very first one. Yeah, I feel like that was probably one of our first like adventurous episodes. Yep. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. How, memories of the Dick McInnes one? <laughs> that got weird. Oh, yeah. We were in the studio late at night, and it just, uh, Mr. Jeepers was there. His head came off at one point. I remember editing that after going, e is this one going to fly? And it flew. Yeah. I forgot about that one. I love the Halloween episodes here. They're so much fun. <laughs> uh, we should be getting back with Martina any second here. He's doing a, uh, doing a quick costume change. She's getting ready. But what are we giving away tonight, Bryn? Let's do it now. We've got a lot of swag. Martina gave us some mugs with some keychains, some puzzle pieces. Uh, we've got our Earl's gift card as well. And we've also got a puzzle. And <laughs> there she is. And so, yeah, ask us questions. Tell us where you're tuning in from. We've got lots of great stuff to give away. Let's do <laughs> get those bullets back up. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's finally meet the artist, Martina Music. Almost 250 episodes. I don't think we've ever had an artist that just, like, bolted after the first song. Welcome to Stripped Down Live. Thanks for being the guinea pig for Halloween 2022. Anytime someone says they want to be the Halloween episode, I always kind of go, you sure? So we met in a parking lot. You were a former contest winner. That was how we met. Well, yeah, I was watching the Jared Lee episode and I told you May the 4th, Star Wars, right? Yep. And then Sylvia played on the 16th, that's my birthday. Lucian played on his birthday last week and it's my daughter's birthday. And I told you, I'll do Halloween. And then I texted you saying, seven, six costume changes. Yes. Ambitious, so, yeah. This is the most ambitious episode we've probably ever done live in the studio <laughs> and I can't wait. So the first costume was Gwen Stefani, correct? We're not guessing. Oh, we're not guessing? Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> you, you had a game. Yeah, so the song was Lightning Rods. And for me, I grew up loving the Lightning Rod Gwen Stefani. And I think she still is, so yes. You know who else is a giant Gwen Stefani fan? And I kept this out until now. Our lovely social media correspondent, Bryn Kreisa. You guys want to gush about Gwen for a few minutes? Go right ahead. What, what drew you to Gwen I'm Stefani a as a girl. kid? 
Um, I really got into, into No Doubt in the like hella good Hey Baby phase. Mm -hmm. I think that's my favorite No Doubt phase. What's your favorite No Doubt era? I definitely, the hella, the first album when they came out, um, Just a Girl, I definitely, that's going to be in a cover. Yeah. But uh, I actually like a lot of Gwen's stuff. Yeah. As she got older, too, yeah. and matured a little bit, but yeah. Well, we're live TV and I blew the game, because you want to play a game tonight, correct? Well, we, we kind of maybe thought people could guess at the end for one of the prizes. Of, yeah. Well, if you want an easy I one. I mean, they're pretty <laughs> obvious. This one is going to be a really obvious question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why the decision to uh, incorporate so many costume changes? Just uh, part of your on, on stage personality? Just keep it, keep it moving, keep it fun? Yeah, it's. Um, oh, see? Oh. Costume malfunction. We grew up, uh, my kid grew up, and we did a lot of Halloween. And, uh, and yeah, you challenge yourself, right? So. Again, this is a very different looking episode. Big props to Jay and Eric and Dean who uh, had a different set design. We had so many, uh, so many options and expectations coming in tonight and I think we knocked it out of the park with that live intro. Big, uh, big round of applause to the crew making this happen tonight. So the first song was Lightning Rods of Loud. Yeah, so that actually I wrote, that's one of my most recent one back in March. Coming back from COVID, you know, I think a lot of us felt uh, the idea that buzz before a concert starts and if you were a concert goer you love that just about getting ready for a, a concert to start and for two years we waited and waited so i got to go see a friend of mine play in a cover band and i sat there and wrote the song about like let's get the show on the road right and you didn't really start too long pre-covid correct no um i've only i've been writing lyrics since i was a teenager um, my mom passed when i was little and i just started writing and music has always helped me um through diabetes and things like that. So I, insulin and music are my drugs. And uh, I think I just started about six years ago, I picked up a guitar and just decided it was time to start putting music to these lyrics. So, All right, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna get to know you more throughout the next, oh geez, 45 minutes. We'll talk about songwriting, we'll talk about other songs, but before we get into song two and another costume change during the commercial break, let's meet our sponsors again, shall we? First off, our title sponsor. Earl's Saskatoon. Earl Saskatoon knows what's up. They're continuing their commitment to live music here in Saskatoon and Saskatchewan. And also, their Rester Haunt. I don't know if we have that graphic ready. They're doing a big Rester Haunt. If we don't have it now, we'll bring it up later. October 29th from 8 p.m. to late. It's a haunted tap room. It's called the Rester Haunt. More on that later. But huge news, huge news this week. We have a brand new sponsor, everyone. Vern's Pizza has come on board. Big shout out to Vern's Pizza. Nice. You can't get much more local than Strip Down Live and you can't get much more local than Vern's Pizza. Coming on to support this show and big, uh, big thank you to the good folks behind Vern's Pizza for uh, keeping this crazy train going here. What a first show to be a part of. Thank you, Vern's Pizza. And of course, the Hairstyle Inn and E-West Music round out our sponsors and that's everything you need to know. So. Should we get the Halloween party continuing? What's song number two? So, um, by the costume, this next song is called Traffic Lights. And, uh, and I'm not sure if my niece and nephew are tuning in from Calgary possibly tonight. But um, this song I wrote after seeing my niece who was learning her traffic lights. And she would say, like, well, what does red mean? Stop. What does green mean? Go. What does yellow mean? Be careful. And so I have the 100% foolproof way to prevent relationship problems is we're going to wire traffic lights into our brains so that you can't lie about your relationship status so take it away idea. martina music well i'm sitting here waiting at this intersection again Headed home from a hit or miss date again And it looks like a freight truck's headed straight for me And I'm wishing I'd had a little more warning What if we wore hearts like traffic lights on our sleeves? Would it make roadblocks easier to we could avoid the frustrations and the hesitations and the misdirection in these give and take flirtations. 
What if we wore hearts like traffic lights on our sleeves? Now when the red light is showing, you turn around and run. It's I must be mistaken, you're already taking so long. Even if rings come off fingers at warning, you'd still see. And a heart would break apart and start to bleed. What if we wore hearts like traffic lights on our sleeves? Would it make roadblocks easier to read? We could avoid the frustrations and the hesitations and the misdirection in these give and take flirtations. What if we wore hearts like traffic lights on our sleeves? Now be careful to race on embers or doubts will grow. If you're not patient to wait, then foot off the brake, just go. Sorry. <laughs> go. Careful to race on embers or doubts will grow. If you're not patient to wait, then foot off the brake, just go. See those yellows or warnings, but just around the corner. You may not see it now, but you never know. What if we wore hearts like traffic lights on our sleeves? Would it make roadblocks easier to read? We could avoid the frustrations and the hesitations and the misdirection in these give and take flirtations. <clears throat> you know what? I think we should wear hearts like traffic lights on our sleeves. This heart's like a traffic light on my sleeve. No more yellows or reds down this road ahead for me. I think we should wear hearts like traffic lights on our sleeves. And now I'm sitting here waiting at this intersection tonight and a green light is glowing and leading me home tonight All right, sorry. We're gonna switch up. We're gonna do a, a song that I wrote um, in DAFO, which if anybody's traveled back and forth, and uh, it's called the Ketchup Song. Uh, my kid loved ketchup on her fries, as a lot of people do. Um, but it's a play on the word ketchup, and uh, when uh, you're trying to read somebody's mind and figure out what they're thinking, you uh, want them to catch up and read your mind. So this is a song called the Ketchup Song. She sees him walk into the diner, puts his usual order on the counter. He smiles, flirting with potential disaster. And he sits pondering at the counter, another black coffee, fries and burger. Full of fixins that never fix his empty laughter. And she calls him over and it starts all over. Maybe today 
she'll finally catch on Why there's never catch up on Cause she thinks she's one step ahead And that he's always one step behind Will she ever read her mind and catch up? She wants to tell him now Call me, contact me somehow Come back across the floor Stop heading for the door Cause those wanting eyes keep leaving me And leave me wanting more his tab and it starts again maybe today he'll finally catch on why he tips for no catch up on cause he thinks he's one step ahead and that she's always one step behind read her mind and catch up and she goes to clear the counter finds a noted napkin and a flower and it read well I've been trying to find some See if you feel the same. Please come across the floor and stop me at the door. Cause those wanting eyes keep leaving with me and leave me wanting more. one step ahead and that I'm always leaving you behind but I think I'm reading your mind this time so she looks towards the door his smiling eyes catch her We are deep in the 2022 Strip Down Live Halloween special. Are you running for another costume change? Another run for okay, her? we got, <laughs> hurry, we got questions. <laughs> well, you can start asking. Okay, you'll just yell from uh, off, off screen as we do, as we do another uh, costume change. But we do have some questions back over to uh, Bryn Kreisa, also known as Ripley tonight. Yes. Uh, what is it called when the alien comes out of the stomach? Oh, the old chest burster. Yeah, the chest burster. Yeah. I had an angry viewer on the Facebook page accuse the stripped down logo, the mic coming out, of being an alien. <laughs> so that's, I can see it. Yeah. I like that, actually. All right, so we got some questions <laughs> for Martina Music, who's doing another, uh, another costume change just off camera. Again, live television. This was an ambitious outing. But, Bryn, what do you have for us? Well, Calvin has some questions here. He says, good evening, Martina. Great to see you playing live. Awesome job. Do you have a favorite horror movie monster slash villain? Bryn, why don't you answer that first? As she's, as oh. she's coming back with another costume change. Because we're also playing a game tonight. If you can figure out what she is, she would like you to write in and guess uh, what of her many costume changes tonight are. And that will help you win the Earl's gift card and some of the uh, other Martina music prizes which are on display in front of our social media correspondent. So Bryn, favorite horror movie? Um, I, ooh, well, I'll answer the villain question. Right off the top of my head, I like Freddy, Nightmare on Elm Street, the classic movies. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
Yeah, I'm blanking on my favorite horror movie right now, but it really creeped me out. It'll come to me, though. All right. I just had to watch six horror movies for a podcast that I'll be doing. It's the Shelf Shedding Podcast. So look for that. So we watch six movies, and then we rate them. And then the lowest movie rated, we get rid of. Because oh, he's cool. shedding his shelf. It's, yeah. uh, it's Jason Dubray, a good friend of mine. So I just had to watch six horror movies, and I watched uh, Blair Witch. Oh, which yeah. uh, I forgot how truly good that was. I haven't seen that one. No. It was Hereditary that I was thinking of. Yes. I like Hereditary. Definitely scary. That one's freaky. How's the costume change going? Good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, we, we can't hear you, but sure, yell your, yell your horror movie. Well, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I know that's not horror. Harry Potter fan. <laughs> Nightmare on yeah, Elm Street nice. as well. Yeah. What, uh, how, what's the quickest way Harry Potter gets down a hill? Bring. What? Why, Curtis? Running. J.K. Rowling. Slytherin? Slytherin, <laughs> also another great. All right, here we go. Another big, uh, another big costume reveal. Oh, my. That's a good Ladies one. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Martina Music back on stage. Woo! Absolutely. Tell me about your last song before we answer that question. No. I'll fix your tail. Um, so the last one, I was going to do that one after this one, but um, the last one again, it was live TV. Uh, written. I'm going to need Bryn's help. Okay. Oh. Can you grab that? Oh, yeah. Guitar strap. Yeah. It has to go song? under the, yeah, the ketchup song that was written. Um, like I said, my kid liked ketchup and the play on the word ketchup and this next one I guess is uh this is a song I wrote not too long ago while she's fixing my guitar strap there you go um before I, we before we get to the song though, let's yeah. answer our our fan question okay there was there a second one Bryn or that was the yeah, two-part oh yeah there's a second one do you have a favorite Halloween themed song oh I'm I love the Adams family mm. I guess that's not a horror, but yeah. That's pretty horror. Dun, 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 Come on. Dun, 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 dun. See, everybody knows it, right? Um, and Thriller. Classic. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Doing the dance. And, yeah. All right. Well, everything's uh, out of order, and it's chaos as usual here on the stripped down stage, but it's Halloween 2022, and that's uh, par for the course. So where are we headed next, Martina Music? All right. Uh, this next song is called The Devil's Walkin'. And I wrote it uh, not too long ago after I digitalized all my lyrics from over the years. So okay. I um, had notebooks and I finally put them all on my computer. But I've been writing, like I said, from teenage years. So it was like revisiting time traveling. And one night I woke up and this was kind of like my summary song of all that time in my 20s. So, you know, you're young. You go out and have some drinks and you walk home that night and you make some mistakes maybe in your life. Um, I'm familiar so with that. Yeah, and uh, and so this is a song that you know you blame it on the devil. The All devil right. made me do it, right? So, Ladies. so yeah, there's a play on this costume too with it the, in the lyrics. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Martina music. I wake up each morn. Mind's tethered and torn Trying to keep voices within From a past wrapped in sin And as the sun sets into moon They regrets they start slipping again It's one step at a time But each is hard to find right side of the street it keeps running from my feet and as the sun sets into moon they regrets they start tripping again but tonight the devil's walking and the angels they're all talking Chasing gin till I'm crawling home again when sanity should be driving. But tonight, the devil's walking. And I try 
tries so hard to choose but can't convince these boots to stay home and not roam they gotta mind all their own and as the sun sets into moon that regrets their out the door again and tonight the devil's walking and the angels they're all talking as tequila's chasing gin till I'm crawling home again when sanity should be driving and tonight Devils walking. Yeah, tonight the devil's walking. Yeah, tonight that little devil. The devil's Martina music. <laughs> He's talking underwater. Give him a break. <laughs> and if you're looking to save you from your life in misery I can't be your Peter Parker And if you're searching for a savior to rescue you from your life in solitary I can't be your Peter Parker somebody who's always been fighting and done their share of repairing the tears well grab on tide we'll spin our own web tonight you catch me and i'll catch you maybe we'll make it through it's peter parker safety net that's a perfect bit it'll never rip I can't be your Peter Parker but if you're wanting someone who's wrestled with some of the same demons you've been beating well grab on tide we'll spin our own web tonight Catch me and I'll catch you. Maybe we'll make it through. It's Peter Parker. And it bruises inside where villains hit hard, leaving you scarred. Well, grab on tight, we'll spin our own web tonight. You catch me and I'll catch you. There's a whole lot of falling to do. Maybe this time we'll make it through. Parker times two. Cause there's nothing that I'd rather do. Then
then be Peter Parker with you. It's Martina Music on the 2022 Strip Down Live Halloween special. We're ready this time for your next costume change. We're going to throw to a few clips of Halloween shows previous. Roll tape! Damn it, Janet, it is about to get Rocky Horror Picture Show tonight because joining us on Strip Down Live is Aurora Wolf. Picture perfect pair sinking in a floral couch and day in and day out I'm counting minutes down. Paper burns as the words escape my mouth. Presenting tonight, Lisa Moen. Knocking the door down, are you in there, baby? Can you come out and play? I gasp my jeep up, honey, how I miss those blue eyes. Want to see them every day. Lovely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Aurora Bella. Winning happy full of tears like the last cherry in the autumn. Yeah. There we go, see? That is the, that's the energy of Strip Down Live. We adapt. We uh, came here tonight with the idea for the intro and pretty much nothing else past that. And suddenly there's costume changes. We're just, uh, we're flying here. We're learning in real time. Ladies and gentlemen, Martina Music back on the stage. Welcome. <laughs> we have some questions now, finally. Yes, back over time to, for questions. Back over to social media correspondent Bryn Kreisa. What a, what a night we're having, Bryn. It's Halloween 2022. We're getting the good people of Saskatchewan all over the world into the Halloween. We're dragging them down the stairs so they're in the <laughs> Halloween spirit, Bryn. You're going to like it. Okay. So Taylor just asked a question. I think it's one of my favorite questions that's ever been asked on this show. Woo! She said, I just watched Shrek's Swamp Stories, great Halloween flick. Which Shrek character do you relate to the most? Ooh. Um, everyone always is like Shrek and Fiona. I love Puss in Boots. Oh. And he has his own movie, I think, too, now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he went solo. There's just something about, you know, Anten like Anten Antonio Banderas' voice with his little cat. And, and uh, what's the character that was <laughs> like, yeah. There was one other, I can't remember him now, right now. Um, Donkey? Donkey, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think those extra characters make the... I'm a writer, too. I have some screenplays, and I think character development, and those guys make Shrek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Good yeah. answer. Remind the viewers, Bryn, we're giving away stuff tonight if they write in and answer. Yeah. They ask questions for us to answer. Yeah, so Martina has some mugs, keychains, puzzle pieces. Uh, there's, of course, the Earl's gift card, and Martina even brought a puzzle. And I guess there's some bonus Pirate Friday stickers tossed in here, too. It's fitting, because tonight is a puzzle. <laughs> Missing <Well>. pieces. <laughs> and the world's hardest puzzle, but it has been such an honor so far. Thank you so much for stepping up and being Halloween 2022. And I, I, when we talked in the parking lot, I was like, anything can happen. It's Halloween. We just yeah. show up, and this, these are the shows that we probably prep the least. We're just like, whatever happens, happens. It's spooky time. Let's do Halloween 2022. We had Marlo. Without a proper mic, he was Wolverine introducing you, but it was like, mm, it doesn't matter because it's Halloween. We had Dylan the Fishman, well, his mic was on. See, we're learning. And honestly, it's Martina Mute, but it, it's all these different characters. So, I mean, he could have said the right name off mic, right? He, he did. Yeah. He was actually swearing like Wolverine does. We had to kill his mic. Yeah. That's how quick and adaptive we are. Well, that's, I figure we should have a battle outside me, Spider Man and. Right? Wolverine. If you know what Martina is dressing up as right in and you could win. Do they have to get prizes. all seven? Probably, you'd get all seven or don't bother. No, I'll get one or two. Let us know you're watching. This one, this one will be on. the one we won't give away. No. Because if they've been following social, my social media, they should be able to understand it. Where are we heading next, Martina? Exactly, where? Exactly, where? 
Yeah. So you picked up on that. Yeah. You drew attention to it. Now people are going to get the answer. Yeah. What's the next so, song? So the next song. Um, Before our last commercial break, and we are burning through time. Yeah. Um, this song I wrote. I actually wrote a poem. My daughter, again, it's her birthday today, 27 years ago. Um, I wrote a poem when I became a parent about how we're trying to write um, wrongs and teach generation after generation. And you know, sitting here now in our world, I kind of think have, we still aren't getting it right, right? So this song is about, um, we always seem to be forced to choose between extremes and opposites, but maybe there's a place where in the middle we can all meet and get along. And that's the basis of this song. So That's beautiful. And can it I, is released. Can I tell you a parent story real quick? Yeah. On episode one, February 2008, we were about to do the countdown and start recording the first show ever. And my wife texted me and she had taken our little guy who was two out to a restaurant and the chair broke. And he hit his head, and she was like crying. I was like, what's going on? And they were like, three, two, one. And I was like, hey, you're watching the first episode of Stripped Down. Yesterday, he got his driver's license. That's how long Scary. we've been doing this show. Scary, right? Yes. In the spirit of Halloween. Yeah. All right. I kind of. I think uh, I, I did that on this song. I wrote that it was 19 years ago it started. So you never know, right? Well, before our last commercial break, take it away, Martina Music. I want to know where, never, where a grown-up can still be a kid And it doesn't matter what you did yesterday or the day before it Where laughter joins hands with your tears And you face all of your fears I want to know there's never not enough time to conquer the fine lines between your opinions and mine. Every day you believe in what you want to believe, and freedom's price, it's still free. So can you tell me, tell me now, I want to, want to know. Where that place is I want to know Where good and bad collide Where you never have to choose sides Just come along for this ride Every day you Simplicity's not a rare commodity. So can you tell me, tell me now? I wanna, wanna know where that place is. Heaven lets in evil and good lives in hell. Love and war finally settle their score. What in the world were they fighting for? So hold tight to the things that you know. Tell me, tell me now, cause I wanna, wanna know. Tell me, tell me now, cause I wanna, wanna know.
You're watching the Stripped Down 2022 Halloween special. We burned through the music. We're burning through time. We spent 60 minutes with Martina Music. How did it go, Martina? Well, it was a little ambitious, I think. It was, it was, it was a, a bit. We had a lot, a lot on our plates tonight. Yeah. And at the very beginning, we were just like, go, let's do it. Let's do the live <laughs> intro coming in from the uh, parking lot. Let's do six costume changes. Wow. So yeah. from the time we met in the parking lot and pitched this idea, how would you rate the execution? I'd give it a solid 10 tonight. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and I have to say I really appreciate it because this has been a great experience for me whoop. and to share my music. And uh, yeah, I, I love taking challenges. So. Well, thank you very, Game very on. much. Yeah. Before we get to the last questions, let's, say, let's thank our sponsors again, shall we? Big shout out to Earl Saskatoon, our title sponsor. They know what's up. They are keeping their commitment to the local music scene strong, and they've come back again for Strip Down's 12th season and uh, making sure the train stays on the tracks. And also, it is their Rester Haunt. I don't know if we have this. The Rester Haunt. There it is. All right. October 29th. There it is. At uh, Earl's Haunted Tap Room. It goes from 8 p.m. to late on October 29th. I tried to ask the good people of Earl's what exactly this is, and they were like, got to show up. It's Halloween. It's the weekend. It's the Saturday before Halloween, so you know it's going to be a freaking party, and it's at Earl's, the Haunted Tap Room. And maybe room. it'll be like this. They'll just go on the fly. Maybe it'll be like this, but organized. <laughs> All right, uh, and new to this week, oh, I am so sorry, Vern's Pizza. What a first week for Vern's Pizza to come on. Big round of applause for Vern's Pizza, stepping up to the plate, supporting local music, and rounding it out, of course, we have the Hairstyle Inn, which you don't get to see today from Bryn Norai, and E West Music. So big thanks to our sponsors. We got like two minutes left. What do we got for Martino? Let's, uh, let's answer some questions and give stuff away. Okay, we got a couple of guesses on your costumes. Kay. Taylor and Calvin both guessed what it was. Taylor thinks, where's Waldo? Calvin thinks, dark-sided Waldo. Ooh. Well, you know, it, they're both, I think, right? So maybe they both can get, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Because it is, when I was writing the song, Where, and I had to do the lyric video, all I could see in my head was, where's Waldo bumping along doing cartoons. So if you want to check out, there's two videos. I released two of two versions of this song. And on my YouTube channel, there is where's me dressed as where's Waldo. And I like the dark Waldo. So, yeah. Perfect. It's kind of a combo of that. Right on. May I ask one more question quickly? You, you may. Okay. Taylor is wondering, who is your biggest musical inspiration? Oh, we don't have enough time. There's okay. a very long list, but my top five are um, U2, Jan Arden, Pink, Gavin DeGraw. One more. Um, probably any metal band from the 80s. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> the list is too long. All right, for all things Martina Music, where do they go online? Uh, so my website is martinapuzzlebox.ca, um, and then they can find links to all my socials on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube as well. And so I do have three singles out right now, and um, hoping to just start doing some perform more performing. If somebody wants to rent me out for a Halloween party and have a little more time to do the costume switches you know i'm up for that so. you can rent me out for how we yeah. maybe we'll, we'll bring come. you along we'll come as a yeah. we'll come as a duo yeah martina music and go. mr jeepers and speaking of mr jeepers i think it's time to put him to bed for another year bryn Kreisa, martina music thank you so much the stripped down 2022 halloween special was something it was live and it was real thanks for watching thanks to the sponsors again and this is it let's uh let's end it as it began Say goodbye to Mr. Jeepers, everyone, for another year. Thank you very much.